Lonnie Thompson grew up in the coal mining state of West Virginia. Planning to become a coal geologist, he earned his undergraduate degree from Marshall University, where he met and married fellow student Ellen Mosley. The couple moved to Columbus so Lonnie could continue his studies in coal at The Ohio State University. But a funny thing happened on the way to his graduate degree. My first quarter at Ohio State, I got an announcement that there was a job in what was then the Institute of Polar Studies to look at ice cores. And I remember thinking at the time, I'd had geomorphology and you know, glaciers only cover about 10% of the surface of the planet. They're in places where people don't live, so how could they possibly be important? Lonnie couldn't know it then. But thanks to that research job, the study of ice cores would become his life's work. At the time, most ice studies were being done at the North or South Pole. But Lonnie set out to study ice from glaciers in tropical areas. Most people don't connect the tropics with ice. I mean, you just don't do that. But it turns out that there's a lot of ice in uh, uh, and particularly in, in Peru and South America. Drilling down hundreds of feet to extract ice cores from tropical glaciers was difficult. Special solar power drills had to be developed, and it meant working for weeks at a time at high altitudes in harsh weather. Still, since 1975, Lonnie and his teams have completed nearly 60 successful expeditions. Uh, we've used that drill to actually drill in the mountains down to 460 meters up in southeast Alaska, in Boner Churchill. It's the deepest ice core ever recovered from a mountain range. Uh, we've also used it over in western China, in the western Kunlun Mountains, where we have an ice core that uh, dates over 750,000 years. The ice cores, which yield valuable information about the Earth, its history, and climate, are stored here at Ohio State's Bird Polar Research Center. There are now almost four and a half miles of ice cores preserved at the center at up to 40 degrees below zero. While Lonnie has collected ice from tropical glaciers, Ellen's focus has been on ice cores from the polar regions. They've worked as a team analyzing the ice and striving to ensure its preservation. Lonnie and I have committed ourselves to archiving the cores that we've collected from around the world here in the freezers at Ohio State. And we've done that because we recognize that coming generations will have more probing questions, that analytical equipment will have much better resolution and capability. And, you know, with every passing year, our understanding of Earth's climate system just gets deeper and deeper. There's another reason the Thompsons are so committed to preserving the ice cores. The glaciers are melting. When we, we started looking at tropical glaciers back in the 70s, there was no discussion of global warming, uh, global climate change. But as we re returned to many of these sites, uh, you couldn't help but notice uh, how rapidly the ice was retreating. Lonnie was among the first scientists to observe the impact of global warming, a fact he considers indisputable. I, I think it's hard to argue uh, with the glaciers. I mean, I mean they, they have no political agenda. They are just summing up uh, uh, the climate uh, in their part of the world, and they're reacting to it. And they're all retreating and, uh, in, in today's world. So yeah, it's, uh, it's very hard to argue uh, with that. Lonnie, who holds Ohio State's most prestigious title of Distinguished University Professor, has confronted many challenges in his pursuit of tropical ice core samples. But none like in 2009, when he was diagnosed with congestive heart failure. As he continued working, his heart condition worsened. On May 1st, 2012, Lonnie underwent a heart transplant at Ohio State's Ross Heart Hospital. Back at work now with what he calls his 22-year-old heart, Lonnie is planning yet another expedition to an ice field in Tibet. We got a fantastic picture of this ice field, and I think uh, it has the potential of having the oldest ice on Earth uh, in this really remote part of the planet. So yes, I am planning on this. But all of me, my cardiologists have to say I can go. <laughs> for Lonnie and Ellen Thompson, the quest for knowledge has been their life's work. 
and they're committed to continuing that quest. Every day's a gift, nothing is guaranteed, and your, you know, our obligation as members of society, and I think as scientists, is to make every day count. And we make it count by advancing knowledge, training our students, conducting our research, and you know, contributing to society.